There's no such thing as good luck in publication. Painstaking work coupled with careful risk-taking is required for success. Sometimes my students say, well, I'm just going to finish the paper and send it away and hope I get lucky. Bad idea. You make your own luck. And you make your luck by being very careful before you submit to correct these English errors, to make sure that you can control as much as possible in the paper that you are sending out. Let's take a look at the first error, passive voice errors. Now, what is the passive voice? The passive voice sentence is when the subject of the sentence is not doing the action. I'll give you an example. An active sentence would be, the boy hit the ball. The boy, the subject of the sentence, is doing the action hitting the object, the ball. This is an active sentence. A passive sentence would be, the ball was hit by the boy. That's a passive voice sentence. Now, over and over again, when you read the submission guidelines of journals, editors ask, please use the active voice. The passive voice is much longer and more confusing. Why? Because we don't know who's doing the action. It is hidden in the sentence somewhere and we must decode the sentence before we can understand who's doing the action. IEEE is very direct about this. When you look at their submission guidelines, they ask writers, use the active voice whenever possible. Now, does that mean that we can never use the passive voice? No, we can. There are times when we can use the passive voice. We'll talk about that in a moment. But usually, when we have a choice, active is better. It's more direct and it's shorter, it's clearer. Let's take a look at this sentence here from the Journal of Hydrology. This is a civil engineering uh, journal. Generally, I think you could improve the whole paper by using more active voice sentences. It will improve the flow and allow the reader to follow your meaning. Ah, yes, many reviewers comment saying exactly this. Let's take a look at when we can use the passive voice. When can we use the passive voice? We use the passive voice in a situation where the results of the sentence are more important than what is doing the action. When would that be? The methods section of your paper. In the methods section, it's not important who is doing the procedure. What is important is the results of that procedure. Therefore, passive voice. Second reason why we use the passive voice in the methods section is we don't like to use the personal pronoun I or we. We don't like to say that. Reviewers don't like that. Editors don't like that. Therefore, we use the passive voice to emphasize not that I did it, but rather that it was done. And uh, can we make an active sentence without saying I or we? Yes, we can. We can say this research, this study, this paper. I can make that the active voice sentence without using the personal pronoun I or we in your writing. Let's take a look at how we could do that. How would we change this sentence? This came from a paper I modified recently. Identification of poor food, bad housing, inadequate hygiene, and large families as the major causes of poverty was made by Jones. Now this is a passive sentence. How do I know that? Because I have the word by here. This word by, the bowl was hit by the boy, indicates that the subject comes after it. Jones is the subject of the sentence. 
To make this clearer, I must move Jones to the beginning of the sentence. Jones identified poor food, bad housing, inadequate hygiene, and large family, families as the major causes of poverty. Simpler because now I don't have to read it twice to see who did the action. I can see immediately who did the action and the sentence will be shorter. Consideration of whether countries work well on cross-border issues such as immigration is undertaken by Raoul. Who's my subject? Raoul. Raoul is doing the action, right? How do I know? By. Raoul considers whether countries work well on cross-border issues such as immigration. More direct and shorter. And as a technical writer, I have two concerns in my mind. The first and most important concern is that I be as clear as I can. The second concern is that I be short. Because people don't have a lot of time to waste reading. They want your results quickly and efficiently and then they want to go home and see their kids. They don't want to spend the night reading your paper. They don't care. They have a busy life. So when we use the active voice, we can achieve both objectives. We are shorter and clearer, so we double smile. We are extra happy.